Yes, he knew. And we're here at a juvenile detention center down here in Columbia, South Carolina, with Mr. Rogue Nation again. And uh, see how this goes. The usual signage here. What you can't bring in. Yeah, but there's notice here with the intent to furnish. So it's not that you can't bring a cell phone or a recording device on the property. You just can't do it with the intent to uh, to furnish it to, to juveniles. There's old glory flying glory, right there. Okay, Bob. Where uh, we're just by ourselves. Okay, okay. Well, about lunchtime, what was her inquiry? Oh, she just wanted to know, um, you know, what we were recording, so I let her know. Sir, do you have anybody available that can answer any questions for us? Um, I'm not sure. I can ask. Yeah, I talked to the director a couple years ago when I was here, but I just wanted to know if anybody was available. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, take your time. There's no rush. Got a little breeze today, buddy. Might mess with my... Uh... Uh, I'm not sure yet. 
Okay. Yeah. We won't be here very much longer, but if he's here, we'll, we'll talk with him. Seems like they'd have their own, you know? Take a little stroll down this sidewalk here. Yeah. Didn't see any signs. And you can't come down here, so. much to see here oh, I'm blessed how are you for you not to film any young people due to their age mm-hmm okay well I can see them from public hope you have a great day sir you too sir hope you get the information you need hey we're just doing a little story here we, what do you think we're doing Great answer. I do not. Great answer. Thank you. Slowing down our, you know, movement and stuff with that. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, it's, it's the image plus the crime and their name that's projected. Yeah, I can see. I got you. You know, all right today, sir? Yeah, how you doing? Oh, uh, bless beyond belief, man. Here. All right. He's one of the directors. All right, all right. Good deal.
That guy, because he was wearing camouflage, I almost didn't see him. He kind of blended in. And he, he, he said, you know, what did he say to you? Uh, you're well within your rights to do what you're doing. I know what you're doing. You're well within your rights to do what you're doing. You know, I said, uh, well, that's the right answer. And uh, then he says, well, you can't film the kids, you know. Yeah, it's like, oh, you know, the kids. They're protected. That's why they don't release the, the photographs and the crime in the paper. I said, no. I said, what's protected? I said, is their image with their crime in their name? That's protected. I said, but no juvenile's image is protected. I said, otherwise, you could take pictures at the beach. You'd be catching all kinds of juveniles. Faces. All kind of people getting locked up at Disney World. Yeah. So... It's just a, a misconception that we have to, another misconception that we have to break through. All right, well, I think this is done. <laughs> yeah, he was going to give me information. Oh, he's going to get you some information? Uh, hopefully, that's, that's what he said. About? Uh, the public information officer, because I asked him how many inmates the facility holds. Oh. He said, oh, well, let me, let me put you in touch with the public information officer. So, I'm, I'm hoping that's what he went to do. There's no telling them, but um, I'm hoping that's where he went. But we'll give him a couple of minutes. There he is over there. And uh, if he doesn't make his way back out here, we'll go ahead and get out of here. We don't want to waste all day here. Excuse me, young man. Young man. You a DJJ employee? You don't answer questions. Good call. Good call. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. I, I don't answer any questions, he says. I walked all the way down to the end down there to take a look. I mean, actually, you probably could walk all the way around, but there's like a sally port over there, it looked like. Yeah. And, uh, you know, dumpsters and, but there, there, there's a yard out there and there was, they were out in the yard, oh, some nice. of them. Nice. <clears throat> Getting them some sun. guys we're gonna wrap it up here um, you guys might remember this location exact location from last time we had the director come out and confront us he asked me if I'd ask permission to, to exercise my rights and I asked him if, if he had asked permission to eat T-bone steak um, he was pretty hungry it seems he got right on the phone I think he ordered some dominoes um, but it looks like that uh, the one-time visit was enough. They seem to know what we're doing. Uh, they haven't bothered us with any rude behavior. Uh, they've been very cordial. A uh, gentleman came out, as you saw, and asked, you know, what we were doing. And I let him know, you know, who I am. Majorly awesome, of course. And, um, you know, showed him my homemade press pass, uh, which a subscriber did for me. Thank you very much providing me with that um, yeah so that's, that's basically it I think you know I'd asked him for some information I, I don't know if he's gonna bring it out but I'm not gonna wait all day we've got we've got a lot of spots to hit here in uh, Columbia and uh, yeah I think that's it we're wrapping it up we're gonna get well out. I don't want to interrupt but but I need to make a correction it's now the boss majorly awesome the boss the boss <laughs> so, any of you state employees that um, 
that have issues with your employer, definitely email me. Uh, we'll be happy to take care of that and uh, make sure that uh, you know our state employees treat their co-workers as well as they should treat the public, the general public. So um, yeah, with that being said, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, I don't think he's going to bring out any Here comes somebody. But we'll see.